In a provincial archive, DeSoto and his team discovered simple posters that promoted a pre-war concept of land reform. I went to the Ministry of Agriculture mm -hmm. and found the posters of the reform. Uh -huh. Have you seen this? Um, uh, this is um, a promotion of That's uh, right. reform. Of, um, That's right. Promotion of the reform. And here it was considered mm -hmm. an anti-poverty program. The poster divides Japanese society into four levels. At the bottom are the common people, small farmers and businessmen, shown with their extra-legal property, which they held at the discretion of the feudal lord. These extra-legal holdings were recorded on maps that were 400 years old. To us, that indicated that the little people did have their own parcels of land, but they paid taxes to the absentee landlord. You see, it says, basically, that the law comes from the ground, up, because that's what you did. You found out who was doing what on the land, it was certified by political authorities, it was documented, and it was put into your cadastres. One man incorporated those early concepts of land reform into post-war reconstruction. General MacArthur, the Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces, at this desk in Japan, decided to support the trend that he already found alive in Japan to empower individual Japanese. What the 1946 reforms did was to convert extra-legal property and business rights into legal rights, empowering millions of Japanese overnight. And that turned Japan, which was essentially, in economic terms, a feudal country, into a modern economy. It remains the most successful and widespread property reform in modern history. <laughs>